the reason I explain to people why we need Black History Month is that um, my history is taught as an elective, but other people's history is taught like as a required class. Um, so oftentimes I think that the like achievements of black people are looked over. So I think it's great to have a month to spotlight it and make sure that you know people are recognizing us for our accomplishments as well. My name is Kendall Dawson, I'm the president of the African People's Union, which is a black student government here on campus. Um, this week of event, um, we called it the Black History Week of Events um, because Black History is a month, but we had a, um, a separate week of events inside of the month. Um, the first day we had a Baptist church day where my dad came and delivered a sermon. We kind of had a small church service because um, Baptist church is actually a really big part of the black community, so we decided to let people experience that. Um, Monday we had a Greek day where um, all the history historically black Greek organizations on campus came to our um, weekly member meeting and kind of had like a little panel. People were able to answer questions, um, you know, some stereotypes about um, black Greeks were debunked. Um, Tuesday, so yesterday, um, we did a donut sale with the, the Omega, Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated. Um, so we had Lamar's Donuts, we sold them, um, raised funds for both of our organizations um, tonight. We will be having a black trivia night, black game night kind of thing. So we'll be having a game called Black Heart of Vogue. We'll be having black history trivia, black Jeopardy, Spades, um, which is a popular game played at um, black family gatherings. Um, and tomorrow we will be having a panel called Ask a Black Person panel. So people are able to like anonymously submit questions when they have about black people, black culture, anything like that. Um, and it will be answered by a group of diverse panelists um, from the black community. Um, so young, old, different genders, things like that. Um, so that will conclude our week. Uh, my name is Deontay McBride. I am a business finance major with a minor in management. Uh, I am current president, we call it boss list, but it's president of Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated. Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated is, in my eyes, the greatest organization. Um, for one, our motto that we kind of live, and breathe, and kind of die by is friendship is essential to the soul. And no other organization is based off necessarily relationships or friendships because we take that to heart. And I think that's like the biggest attraction for the fraternity and not just here in Nebraska, but all around the world because we're, we're everywhere. And how much as a whole we impact the community, it's kind of like the the uh, the persona that we give off as uh, especially being African American males, but I think the great thing about our organization is like granted you would consider us a black fraternity, we also we have uh, other races that are part of. It. Black History Month is important to remind people some of the great things that this country has shaded away from the history books. Like I didn't learn a lot about black history from actually in school. It's actually talking to people that were a part of that history. And I feel like even though it is only even though it is only one month, it's a great month. It's the shortest month. I mean I don't know how people feel about that. But it's kinda of a reminder that like we have done great things but they they've also been shaded. And it kinda of makes you think like why have they been shaded? And I understand like for years, uh, slavery and stuff, blacks weren't even allowed to read and for us to basically have a whole month to kind of just like celebrate everything that's been done and for future, like future uh, presence and stuff. I think that's just amazing. Um, I think a lot of times we tend to gloss over women when we talk about black history. Um, some of my favorites are Asada Shakur, um, Angela Davis, Maya Angelou, um, of course Rosa Parks, she's done a lot of great things, but um, she also had um, other influences that people don't know about. So like, I really always suggest people researching Angela Davis. Um, she's still actually living. Um, I know a couple of family members of mine have got the chance to hear her speak. And I think it's very important to recognize the intellectual black woman um, in the role of black history. Um, I think it's safe to start with like your closest black person so if you have a black friend um and you'd like to know more i suggest like to kindly ask them like don't make them feel like they have to speak for their entire race but kind of ask them um who do you view as an important black figure or even a simple google search like would be sufficient if you just like search something like um influential black people or civil um civil rights um figures or anything like that um i think it's pretty it's pretty interesting. Like once you start getting into it, it kind of gets easier. Um, there are different books that you can read. Um, Angela Davis has published a lot. Um, Asada Shakur as well. Maya Angelou, um, just to kind of go off of um, 
the black intellectual woman thing, but I think it's, it's very beneficial to know about this kind of stuff.